Back about seven years ago, uh, Bill Mitchell, who's a counselor at East Leiden, and I were trying to figure out how we can get um, an underserved population more involved in the theater. And so we found a play called La Gringa about a Puerto Rican girl growing up in New York. There was a call for uh, an award called the Magna Awards, which was through national school boards, for an equity-driven program. And we decided that we would highlight Teatro Leiden and share our program that offers what we felt was something really unique, which was bilingual theater um, in a high school. And we won that award and were commissioned $5,000 to use toward the Teatro Leiden program. Dr. Poliak found me in the hall one day and says, so we won this money. Um, what do you want to do? You want to buy some lights? You want to buy some sound equipment? I'm like, oh God, no, I want to buy a play. My first thought was to think of uh, Nancy, our playwright, because Nancy was one of my former students. And in keeping up with Nancy, seeing that she has been a rising star in the theater community in Chicago, particularly as a Latina playwright, creating plays with a focus on the Latinx community. And he was like, Nancy, he's like, do you think you'd ever be able to write a play for my school? He's like, I'm now an administrator over at the Leiden School District. And then he told me a really wonderful story about the founding of Death Row Leiden and the focus on creating bilingual plays for the predominantly bilingual student population, which was really exciting to me also as a Mexican descent student that never saw work like that being done at my own high school, at my college, and even as an adult, I had to really go find uh, those stories that spoke to me on stage. It brings people who might have not done theater who are Spanish speakers who are like, well, theater is it's English and may they may not know English that well. So I think it's not only an amazing opportunity to get them involved, but also they get to meet new people, like some of the people who speak Spanish who I would have never talked to them if it weren't for Teatro Leiden, and we do rehearse together, so it also is a great opportunity to get closer with each other. Who's able to do an original show, especially during a pandemic and the rough year everyone's had, I feel like with this show, it's like we finally have something that's from normal life, I guess. Teatro Leiden students, they're doing work that professionals in Chicago take on. Their ownership in this and their role as collaborators and artists on this project has really, it's, it's just been indispensable and really special. They're hardcore professionals. This show is not a typical theater show. There's elements to it of comedy and drama and other things, but the biggest element to this show is the realness of it, the real moments that exist. These are real people's life experiences that we are recreating on stage. Even if you've never had a crossing, your grandparents possibly did, they possibly crossed across the ocean to Ellis Island, it was a challenge for them. It's not to say that it was the same experience, but there is a connection to it. Everyone should connect to moments within the show and should feel the realism of what takes place. People are actually having to travel in these like terrible conditions and like struggle getting this thing called a visa. And the fact that we we classify people as illegal and it, it's just there's so much and have an open mind and be open to the fact that like this is happening and this exists and this isn't just a story. It's like a build on like what's really really going on in the world.